uh, PD helicopter just left here. The pilot's reporting uh, a situation. There was a report of a firefighter shot. There were so many things were on fire that everything around us was hot. I remember thinking, my word, this is like Beirut in, in California. 25 years ago, Eve Irvine was a detective with the Inglewood Police Department. I had had my daughter. Um, she was about 18 months old at the time. Irvine dropped her daughter with family and spent five days in the middle of the LA riots. Once home, I cried and I cried and I cried. I was a young chief at transit and the command center for all of the operations ended up at one of the bus yards down at 54th and Van Ness. Sharon Papa was at the staging area for responders. LAPD was there, CHP came there, the military came there. On the streets, looting and violence, anger spilling over. We the jury find the defendant not guilty. Following the acquittal of four police officers in the arrest and beating of Rodney King. The color of a person's skin, their ethnicities, relationships with police reaching a boiling point. What struck me more when I look back on that is the weird feeling to drive around this town during curfew at night and you know this freeways were empty. It was only police and fire that were out there. Today, both women have risen through the law enforcement ranks. Chief Sharon Papa leads the Hermosa Beach Police Department. I look back on that going, could that have been prevented? Could that happen now? I mean, anything can happen anywhere, but I think we've had some explosive situations here that have not turned into that. Irvine, now the chief of Manhattan Beach Police. Officer involved shootings, fatalities, officer ambushes where police officers are killed. There is absolutely problems that need to be worked on. Both believe policing is evolving. There are certain times when force needs to be utilized to neutralize a situation. But the majority of the interactions that the police officers have are not that. They emphasize a need to show the dangers of being on the streets and also the compassion officers have for the community. If you forget why you got into it to help people and to serve people, and that's what we're all about in law enforcement. Chief Papa believes positive change takes leadership that not only reflects the community, including these female police chiefs. You can't solve race relations by appointing a black chief or a Hispanic chief. But also leaders who are truthful even when things go wrong. It's always about keeping your word and keeping that open dialogue. It's a partnership. Let us know what you need in the police department. Lessons learned from decades ago and ongoing education. Lolita Lopez, NBC4 News.